Hey everyone, this is Pranit. I welcome back you all to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to deal with the modern history, which is a part of our history syllabus. Today we are going to see the different European invasions on India. Many Europeans invaded India because um, due to scarcity of resources in the Europe countries. So they wanted to have some colonies so that we could provide them raw materials. Yeah. As we all know that Vasco da Gama from Portugal discovered the sea route to India. Some of you might be having a question that why did they discover the sea route? Why don't they come on land? We will see a brief introduction about the Turkey then you will clarify your doubt. Turkey is located somewhere around here. Yeah. During 1400s, the Turkey was ruled by Ottoman Turks. There were several conflicts in between the Europeans and the Ottoman Turks. So due to those conflicts, the Ottoman Turks never allowed the Europeans to pass through their country when they need to come to Asia. So they need to discover a new route without going to Turkey when they need to come to Asia. That's the only way is through the sea route. In 1498, Vasco da Gama from Portugal started off from here, that's from the Lebanon. Then all the way through the Africa. Then he went to the Cape, Cape Town. Then few African countries over here. Then all the way from the Africa, he came back to he came to India through Kerala. That is from the Calicut. These are the five sets of Europeans who came to invade India. The first one is Portugal. Then the second one is. Dutch, that's from the Netherlands, then the British, then Danish from Denmark, French from the France. Here we will see in detail about the Portugal invasion. How did they came and what are the reasons of the decline of the Portugal in India? Vasco da Gama came to India in 1498 through Calicut, that's from the Kapada beach in Kerala. During that time, Calicut was ruled by Zamorin. Zamorin welcomed Vasco da Gama and gave him spices. And Vasco da Gama went back to Portugal. Then he came back with the navy in 1501 and defeated Zamorin. Later in the 1504, the king of Portugal appointed Francisco de Almeida as the governor of the India, Portugal territory in India. That is from the 1505 to 1509. Francisco discovered the blue water policy, which is to protect the Portugal territory in India and to protect the Indian Ocean territories. Then the next governor is Alfonso Albertu. He was a governor of Portugal territory in India from 1509 to 1515. In 1510, they captured Goa. And the king of Vijayanagara, that is the Krishna Devaraya, he helped Alberkyu to capture Goa. Ninode Kunha became the governor of the Portugal territory in India in 1529. He was a governor till 1538. Some of you might be having a crazy doubt that uh, Alberkyu was the governor till 1515 and Ninode Kunha became the governor in 1529. Yeah, there were a few governors but uh, which are not prominent. And we need to know the changes brought by the Portuguese in India. And they started the printing press in 1556. And they started the tobacco culture and other medicinal plant culture. Then they spread Christianity in India. And as we all know that Portugal is not as successful as British in invasion of India. What are the reasons for the decline of Portugal? They captured and colonized Brazil. So they could not concentrate on India. And Bombay was given as dowry to the British King Charles. Dutch. These people are from the Netherlands. Yeah, Dutch invasion is not as important in the exam point of view. But we need to know some basics. Dutch started their first factory in Masuli Patnam in 1605. Masuli Patnam is presently called as Machili Patnam. 
which is there in presently Andhra Pradesh, then in Surat, then in Karyal, and they fought in Battle of Chalkol, that is in between the Dutch and the Martanda Burma, who is an Indian king, then in Battle of Beldra, that is in between the British and the Dutch, absolutely British won the war. Then what are the reasons for the decline of Dutch? They, as they colonized India, they could not concentrate more on India. So that is the main reason behind the decline of the Dutch in India. British. These people are very successful in capturing India and the invasion of India. Just uh, we'll go through the timeline. When did the Britishers came to India? In 1609, Captain Hackings is from the East Indian Company, came to the court of Jahangir and they asked for a land to construct a factory in India. But the Jahangir rejected him. So again in 1612, they came back to India and they defeated Portuguese blue water policy, which was started by Alfonso de Albert Q and impressed Jahangir. And Jahangir got impressed and gave them land in Surat to start a factory in 1613. Then in Masali Patnam. In 1639, they built a fort in Madras, that is St. George Fort, which is presently located in Chennai. Again in 15, 1656, Bombay was given by the Portuguese to Charles as dowry. That is the main reason for the decline of Portuguese in India. And again in 1698, they purchased three villages. These three villages are mainly from the Bengal state. The first one is Sultanidi, then Goindpur, then Calicutta. This Calicutta is presently known as Calcutta. Again in 1700, they built a fort in Calcutta that is known as Williams Fort. Danish. They came to India in 1616. They came to India with the main aim to spread Christianity in India. The first factory who started by the Danish was at Travancore and started in 1620. And the first settlement was Sirampur and they promoted the Western education and the Danish were forced to sell their settlements to the British. French These are the last set of Europeans who came to India. And the Louis XII from the French East Indian Company came to India in 1664. And French East Indian Company is a government organization. And they have the first settlement in Surat in 1667 and at Masalipatnam in 1669. And they were successful in capturing the Pondicherry. Reasons for the decline of French in India. As we all know that English East Indian Company is a private organization. Whereas the French East Indian Company is a government organization. And uh, government organization has its rules and they have to obey the king. Whereas East Indian, English East Indian Company does not have any rules and regulations from the king. Yeah. And even they have their own liberty to take their own decisions. And there were three main places in India. There are Calcutta, Bombay and Madras. These three places are worn by Britishers. And even English East Indian Company Navy is far more superior than the French East Indian Company. So these are the main three reasons for the decline of the French in India. Thank you for watching our video. Do subscribe, like, share. Thank you.